Hello everyone! Based on many requests in the comments, we are continuing our topic about the tire ground. And now time move from the theory to the practice. So let's start! I will split up this video into two parts to avoid long boring videos. And in the first part we will together install the tire from and tire ground on our local machine and from the scratch prepare the tire from model. The which one on the next video we will use for the tire ground experimentals. On the start we need to find the tire from official website. Now click on download CLI as we are not going to use the tire from cloud. And lower you can find download links. Choose the proper one, which is correct to your operation system. I am going to use the Mac OS. Now switch on the console. Make sure that we have our tar from archive and extract the binary file. To make it available like the command, we need to move it to other calling binary commands. On the Mac case, it should be the folder user local bin. And of course, do not forget to put the execution permission on this file. Cool, check the version. Now we are ready move to the Targround. The way is almost the same. Find the Targround website. Follow to the Install tab. Click on Releases page. And again, choose the required to you version of the tire ground. Find the tire ground on downloads folder. And as it's already the binary file without any archives, let's move it to the same folder where we have the tire form. And grant the execute permissions. <laughs> Great, like the next part of our video, as we are doing everything from the scratch, we need to have the AWS user to do any actions on AWS Cloud. From the AWS console find the IAM service, follow to the users and click on the Add Users button. Call it like you want and as credentials type we are required only the programmatic access. I don't want to play around the restrictions of permissions for now, so attaching the administrator access. No tags, review and create user. Because we are choosing only the programmatic access, on out we have only access and secret case. Copy them and back to the terminal. You can do all next actions using the AWS configure command, but we are not looking for the easy ways. And as we are real professionals, going to do everything manually. Create on the home directory the .aws folder and inside the config file. Here we need to specify the properties for our AWS credentials. We are going to have the single credentials, so we can use the default one. As default region specify the region which you want, I will use the EU central one. And default output type the JSON. Now move to the credentials file. The directory is the same, just change the name of the file. Put again that this is default credentials. And on the field AWS access KID, put the value from AWS console. The same about the AWS secret access K. Ok. Now, if we configure everything right, the AWS CLI should provide to us the list of the users. Here we go. Now we have everything for the Terraform model implementation, and later we together will rewrite it to use it with the tire ground. So let's do this. As example, I have choose the AWS KMSK resource. On my opinion, this model is super easy, because this resource like itself has not so much properties. So create folder for it and start from the resource file. Here we will have two resources. First of course will be the AWS KMSK. 
just do not forget to put some description, which we will customize using the variable. And second resource will be the alias to this k. I think it should be implemented for sure, because when you will have a lot of k's in your cloud, good to have some name assigned on them, not just IDs. Like the properties, we have the name for our alias and the target ID with the pointer on the k ID from the previous KMSK resource. Good, now let's quick declare these variables. First we had the alias. Type definitely will be the string and quick description. The second will be almost the same, is description variable. Type like the on previous will be the string and small description to our description. As later I won't also demonstrate how the outputs is working on the tar ground, we also need to declare them here. Let it be the alias output, value from the variable. And the errand of our KMSK, the value which one we will take from the KMSK resource. Ok, we have the model done. Now Terraform configuration, which we will of course deprecate on the next video because the Terraform, but we need to do it right now because we need to make sure that our model is working on the clear Terraform. So on the section Terraform put that we are required providers and on our case it will be AWS provider with the standard source and version 4.11.0 and the backend configuration, because I want to have the state file on the S3 bucket, not just on the local storage. So S3, on the bucket put your bucket name, on K generate the path to your state file, and the region where you have the bucket. Now we need to have the calling script for our model, so new Terraform file, Model KMS Source will be the path to our KMS model folder And the inputs for our variables The alias And description Now we don't need to forget to declare the outputs Because we did that only inside the model but not on the calling script. So new output file. And again the KMS LS, but well now from the model output. And the same with ARN. The value will be the model KMS K ARN. Time to implement it. Go on the console. Check that we are on the correct folder. And now the init command to download all required dependencies. And apply. Mm -hmm. Whoops, name of ls is in wrong format. Let's quick change it. And try again. Good, confirm our action. And we have it. Now let's close this video on the state file generated by the Terraform. Find the S3 service. Click on states bucket, KMSTF folder and our state file. As you can see, our output's in a place. So we did everything right. And we have implemented from the scratch the Terraform model. Thanks for watching this video, subscribe to this channel, and I will prepare the second part to this video already with the Terraform. Just click on the like to speed up this process. Thanks for watching and good luck!